Hello, I'm Ninja Dan, and welcome to Particles. So, first thing you may notice here are these two. I believe these are the ones from the 2.1 update, and uh, they basically haven't changed. They don't even have an animation to edit. In fact, if we go save and play this, yeah, there's basically one that does cubes and another one that does circles. And the only way you can get that particle thing there from not staying in one place is if you move it around with the move trigger, which is sort of not very effective. However, over here, with the introduction of the 2.1 update to Geometry Dash, we now have this custom particle generator. So if we go into Edit Special, we have a whole bunch of options that we can choose from. We are in the Motion category. Here with these options, I believe these are different viewing modes for all the different physics and particle stuff that might be going on. So here in one we've got the line, here we've got nothing, and this is the radial monitor so you can see uh, in what directions it's going. And then this is like the emitter size, so that's where all the particles will spawn from this green line. And then here we can also change the colour so we can see what contrasts and what doesn't contrast in certain circumstances. Now, over here we have the maximum particles, or in other words, how many particles are going to appear. So if we turn this up to like 162, it doesn't look like there's a lot more, but if you turn this down to like 7 or something, there are barely, there are barely any particles flying around. This duration thing here, this is what controls the bursts. So, at the moment it's at minus 1, and minus 1 is a number which basically means that the one burst happens like right after the other, after the other, after the other. So essentially infinite particles flying in whatever direction, however if we change this to 1.15, it means the particles go for 1.15 seconds, and then they stop, have a break, and then they go again. And then you can increase this to maybe like 4 seconds, or like 0.7. But as I said before, as soon as you go into negative numbers, which I can't anymore, it'll go for infinity. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend messing with duration unless you want it to go in bursts, but you can also change the lifetime. Now the lifetime is how long these individual particles stay visible before they are deleted. So if we turn the lifetime all the way down, we basically, the particles don't really travel anywhere. They just sort of spawn in and then are instantly destroyed. However, if we increase this lifetime, the particles go flying all the way up and pretty much don't die until they get around here-ish. Now this is emission, so this is how many particles are emitted per unit of time. So this would be a lot more particles, and this is like only one particle, nine particles. There isn't really much difference from like 20 onwards, however. They probably, if you, if you modify some other values, maybe this might improve or something. But this one right here is the angle, so in other words, in what direction these particles are going to fly. You can choose this way, or that way, or upside down. But I'm just going to keep it at 90 at the moment. And then speed, so you can choose how fast these shoot. And this also increases the acceleration a bit as well. So now they're flying out real fast. In fact, if we change the emission and the max particles, I have a feeling. Whoa, look at that, it's a full-on snowstorm going on here. Now this is the X position, so in other words this is increasing the X position size of the emitter. So in other words now the entire ground is just flying up with particles, or we can have it so it only comes out of one tiny little thing. And then this is gravity, so in other words if we increase gravity, the particles are going to fly a lot more to the right, or if we pull it this way they're going to fly a lot more to the left. It's sort of similar to the angle, except for you can like point the angle that way and then increase. Yeah, so like playing between these two will get the direction of your particles. And then this is the acceleration, which is similar to speed, except for if we turn down the speed and just increase the acceler. If we see, look, if we increase the acceleration, then it goes flying upwards. It's similar to speed, except for it's not technically speed. But over here, here's where things start to get really interesting. So this is the angle slider. So if we slide this all the way around, we get what's called a radius. So we've got an entire circle in which all these particles are being emitted from. 
instead of just one line. So if, I don't know, you were to place this in a level's air deco or something like that, this would, this would be the thing you'd want to turn on. And this side over here is, so this is like the top side, so this is like this sort of the side of the particle emitter. Whereas this one here is all like this side of the particle emitter. So if I increase the speed, there are also, not just are there fast ones going here, but there's also fast ones going on down here. If I increase the post power, notice how it turns into, it turns the emitter into a giant square? Which basically makes this area in here sort of like a dead zone. Let's take a look at the visual tab. So if we go here into the visual tab, we can see, we can decide how large these particles or basically what they're going to look like. So we can increase the size at the start, but of course, you know, the size is going to decrease as these particles spawn in. In fact, if we make it as large as possible, it's like the equivalent of spamming the calculator button on a keyboard. So it reminds me of anyway. And then, or we can increase the end size. So in other words, as they're getting smaller, they now get larger. And now this is sort of what it looks like when you fall down a really deep hole in Minecraft. And the terrain is not generating. And here this is the spin. So this is how much the particles spin around. So we've got like start spin and end spin. Now the, now the rest of these are based on colors. So we've got R, G, B, A, R, G, B, A. Now of course the R stands for red, the G stands for green, the B stands for blue, the A stands for alpha, or in other words, invisibility. So if I do that, they're more invisible at the start. As you can see, it starts off red, or we can make it so it starts green, or blue, and then we can mix these together red, mix these two together you get a cyan, or if you mix these two together you get purple, or if you do this, you get yellow, this, you get blue again. Yeah, there's lots of different colors you can make with this. And of course if you pull these all to max you get white again because you know, negatives and positives cancelling each other out. And here you can change things like the end alpha and start alpha, and this is basically the same thing, but it's with the end of the particles. All these colors apply on the end of the particles lifespan. So if we go to extra, this is all of the additional effects that you can do with these particles. So we've got fade in, fade out, and then friction, of course, is similar to, is similar to gravity. And then, here, and then here, of course, we've got proper presets. You can select things like OBJ color, or order it in different ways, or do it on an animate trigger. Now, here's probably my favorite tab, texture. And it's also the simplest to understand. In other words, you can select any one of these you want, and it'll make it in that shape. So if you wanted hexagons, if you wanted squares, or circles, or triangles, stars, boxes. Actually, that one looks real cool. That one's awesome. That one's got to be my favorite so far. Just these hollow ones. Oh, especially the triangles. Imagine if you just had like all these flying out like everywhere. I mean like how cool does this look with triangles, man? That's awesome. And you can do like happy faces or electricity, I guess. Circles. Basically anything you really have in the editor you can turn to a particle and that includes auto faces or extreme demon faces. Imagine opening a portal to hell and you're greeted with this. Very scary. And then heart faces, normal faces, locked icons, edit icons, heart icons, download icons. Basically anything you can find in the editor. And yeah, that's the particle editor.